Amidst all the noise, buzzwords, and snake oil salesmen, is Web3 really the future? Or just a passing trend people are looking to make a quick buck on? At Hacker Noon, we have our answer. Now, let us help you make yours. We know the internet's become pinnacle to our daily lives. And the phone is now something as essential to leaving the house as our keys and wallet. Whatever we want to be, whatever is the achievements or the potential that we want to reach, the internet today plays a major role and keeps on helping us improve on a day-to-day -day basis. What are the problems with the current iteration of Web 2? Or why is the new reimagined web even needed? Yeah, let me take you to 2016 when Hackanoon was started. I mean, that was such a turning point for tech. Bubbling underneath the surface, we have three things. ad based tech giant algorithms leading people to the extremes and intense misinformation. Then of course, we have Trump. Dying publishing industry supported by paywalls upon paywalls. Mass distrust in the government which finally found some form of adoption in the form of digital currencies. I think a new reimagined version of the internet is desperately needed because somewhere along the way, we fucked up. I mean, we all wanted it to be a force for good, but we ended up driving people further apart from each other. Well, it starts with the second human rule. I mean, there's so much content on the internet that's just shit. And if a second human looked at it and made it better, the reader would be better off and you'd be better off as the poster. And that's where we live, between social media and the traditional Forbes of the world, uh, bringing you a quality tech story without all the noise.